gentlemen, with utmost enthusiasm, I present to you the I present to you the Dr. Paul Dinagaran, our Chancellor. Let's put our hands together for Dr. Paul Dinagaran. Every time we watch a football match, a player comes with a little boy. And here I've come with a little girl, Caitlin, my granddaughter. She insisted that she accompany me to the stage. Let's see what she's going to tell you first. Happy Christmas. Happy Christmas. Well, I'm so glad she's already a Karunian marching to the front and to shine before everybody she loves all of you do you love them love you too. love you wow this is the story of christmas what is the message of christmas those that are in darkness saw a great light saw a great light. That is the story of Christmas. There was a mother who came to me to talk to me about her son Raja. This Raja was in college and the mother was a sanitary worker in the corporation. And she said, I lost my husband a few years ago and I worked so hard and with my meager income, I try my best to educate my son. Yesterday he came to me and he said, Mother, you better get me a motorbike. Otherwise, I'm not going to college. I'm not going to pursue my studies. And I'm going to kill you if you don't do it. And begging, borrowing, I got him a motorbike. It was last month. But then today he's got into an accident. Yesterday he got into an accident and he is in the hospital sinking. Do something, brother. Ask God to save my son. He's my only hope. He's my only hope. Darkness. The mother was in darkness because of Raja. There was another girl, Saroja, Roja, to whom I spoke a few weeks ago and when I called that person she had donated to the Jesus Calls Prayer Tower and every day I get the prayer requests from all over the world thousands of them and also people who support this ministry through their offerings so I pick up a few people and I call each day and when I called that mother she was so happy I said thank you for supporting the ministry and she said it's not me it's my daughter and the doctor daughter came on the line and she said uncle I lost my daddy when I was quite young my mother had not gone to work but she began to work to sustain me and she worked so hard so hard I came to college and at that time I started listening to Dr. Shilpa Dinakaran and every time she would speak she would say are you desperate are you finished in life do not be afraid you can still rise up because God has a plan for you God has a plan for you and the Father the Almighty God will love you he's a father to you he will establish you and give you a golden future. Trust Him. This touched my heart when I accidentally found her on social media. And I believed it. Then I went to the Jesus Calls Prayer Tower. And there was a prayer intercessor who said, Daughter, 
Don't give up. God has a plan for you. Your darkness shall turn into light. You have a hope. You have a hope. And that's why God came down into the form of, into the world in the form of a person. To understand your agony, to become your father. Cry to the Lord. Ask him. He will help you. A great confidence filled my heart. I said, if God has a plan for me, why not it be a high plan? A plan to be, to place me in the highest levels. So I cried to God. And I said, I must become a central services officer. And I started studying for the civil stunt. I went through and I got selected in the central services. And the story doesn't end there. Six months, they gave me training. And every month, I was given an allowance. I have collected all that allowance. And I've given it to bless the people through the Jesus Calls Prayer Towers. And that's how I sent this offering, uncle. I believe God has a plan for me. My father left me when I was young. But I have a heavenly father who has made great plans. I know I'm not going to stop with this. Though I've got into one of the services, Indian Railway Service. I'm going to study one more time next year. I'm going to go through. I will until I become an IAS officer. So next year, I believe, I will get into IAS. This was her determination. Of course, the first story, Raja, God heard our prayer, brought him back, and he is a transformed person. Those who are in darkness saw a great light because of Jesus. Jesus, God himself, who is light, came into this world to walk through the darkness that you and I go through and go to the cross and offer himself as a sacrifice to go through darkness on the cross and cry, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? And understand your agony and overcome all the darkness to bring light into your life. Tonight is the night when your darkness can turn into light. If you will only call on him. Jesus says, I am the light of the world. I am the light of the world. Come to me, all you that labor and are heavy laden. I'll give you rest. Even now, wherever you are, as you celebrate Jesus, as you celebrate Christmas, as you celebrate the coming of Christmas, the coming of Jesus during Christmas, open your heart. Wherever you are, now, this God who transformed the life of Raja and Roja can transform your life also. Wherever you are, would you close your eyes, look up to God for a moment and ask Him, come into my heart, Lord. I know I have many darkness. God is here. Your future may friends to come upon you. For you to be more than a conqueror. Even as I sing this chorus, open your heart and invite him to come into your heart. Let his light shine in. Into my heart. Into my heart. Come into my heart. Every inhibition come out of their minds and let them rise up with your power to shine your light to the world world bless their parents bless their families provide for them and grant them a blessed new year oh God as we celebrate you this Christmas we give you all the glory in Jesus matchless name we pray amen Wish you a very Merry Christmas and a Blessed New Year.
Thank you, esteemed Chancellor. As we heard, 